saint, the philosopher, the guide, the pioneer, and the real architect of the new Trinidad and Tobago. And the sterling contribution which he has made to the development of this country, to the Caribbean, and to the world at large. I think Dr. Williams was a considerable national leader and statesman, largely because when he came, he brought political enlightenment to the people and public education, like all the great national statesmen, statesmen of, of the post-war period. I think that this country has lost a great person. There is much which this country has to be grateful for. However, the country must go on, and I believe that I would like to appeal to everyone for peace and unity at this stage. Williams has died in a blaze of glory. The glory of having liberated an entire people from the shackles of colonialism and introducing them to an era of Republican Trinidad where they have enjoyed a sense of dignity, a sense of pride, a sense of belonging hitherto unknown. Dr. William's passing is, is the end of an era in Caribbean politics. I mean, he, he is the last of the great leaders of the Caribbean who brought our countries to independence. Born September 25th, 1911, 2011 marks the centenary of the birth of Dr. Eric Eustace Williams. The longest serving head of government in the Commonwealth Caribbean Eric Williams emerged as a political leader and ushered in a new era in Caribbean political history. Williams fought against colonial rule for the independence of Trinidad and Tobago and led the nation for a quarter of a century. First of 12 children, he was the son of Thomas and Eliza Williams. A renowned scholar, Williams' first major academic achievement was winning the coveted college exhibition to gain a secondary school education at Queen's Royal College. Later, he won the Island Scholarship and left for Oxford, where he attained first-class honors in history, followed by a doctorate in philosophy. In 1939, he left England to work at Howard University in Washington, D.C., where he spent 16 years teaching and studying West Indian history and West Indian affairs. Williams was also associated with the Anglo-American Caribbean Commission until 1955, when his contract was not renewed. Perceiving this as discrimination, he engaged in open conflict with the colonial rulers. A turning point in his career, this set the stage for the integral role he played in founding the first effective political party in Trinidad and Tobago. 